Walking is one of the best things you can do to get better results and lose fat even faster and keep it off. This is not clickbait, this is huge. Welcome back, Weight Warriors. If you're someone who's on a fat loss journey like I am or you're planning to start one, you're in the right place. I'm Mike, I'm a fat guy trying not to be fat anymore by making lifestyle changes, and in this video, I'm gonna be talking about walking. All right, I know it's not this amazing secret or really the answer you wanna hear for your weight loss journey, but there's no magic pill here. I'm just gonna talk about how powerful walking has actually been for my weight loss journey and how walking really is just this simple, low impact form of exercise that can help you burn calories, improve your fitness, and boost your mood along the way. So lace up those sneakers and let's get walking. First things first, let's talk about the many benefits of walking for weight loss. Not only does walking burn calories, it can also help improve your cardiovascular health, lower your risk of chronic diseases like diabetes and heart disease, and it helps boost your energy and mood. Plus, walking is a low impact exercise that is easier on your joints, which makes it a great choice for people of all ages and all fitness levels. And of course, walking helps you burn calories, which again, helps you lose weight. It engages your muscles and helps increase your heart rate, but not increase it too much to where you get into a cardio range. And that increased heart rate does help your body burn more calories. So essentially, when you're moving, even if it's just like a little bit of a brisk walk, I mean, definitely again, not going for cardio phase, here, but it's going to help you burn more calories. Plus, from what I've seen in, again, the research that I've been doing here is it really also helps increase your metabolism, which means your body will continue to burn more calories even after your walk is over. Especially if you're a big guy like me, just going out for a walk gets your body used to this new demand in calories. So then it helps, you know, increase that burn throughout the day. Now, a good question that I had, and I'm sure you probably have as well, is why should I choose walking over other forms of cardio? So it's just like, you know, I guess, moderate or high intensity, like hit or, you know, CrossFit or, you know, some of the even resistance training. Why would I choose walking over all the different ways that I can get exercise? All right. So what I found is while high intensity exercises are effective for weight loss, they're not for everybody. And I definitely don't think they're sustainable for me right now, at least from a cardio point of view. I'm not about to go out and run sprints. And if you're just starting out on your weight loss journey, and like I said, I was almost 300 pounds and had a BMI over 40. And so again, I don't think it would have been healthy for me to start with some, some hit exercise. And I didn't even have any major health conditions. If you've got health conditions that you're dealing with, you definitely would need to limit how you exercise and how you do you know, mobility throughout the day. And I think walking is pretty much a good alternative for most people. And I wouldn't even call it an alternative. I think it's a better solution than high impact or high cardio activity because walking is opposite of high impact. It's low impact exercise, which means it's pretty gentle on your joints and muscles, which means again, it's a great way to get your heartbeat up without putting too much strain on your body. And with that being the case, it's accessible to most people. All you really need is just, you know, decent weather and a pair of shoes. Probably clothes too. Don't go walking around naked. You're going to get in trouble. Another advantage that walking has versus other forms of cardio and exercise is generating hunger. In fact, walking helps you with digestion and feeling hunger, especially if you go for a quick little walk right after you have lunch, you're going to feel a lot better about it, but you're not going to be hungry for another meal after that. Versus the other side of let's say you do a 30 minute jog or a 15 minute high intensity interval training. Studies have shown that you're gonna be super hungry and you're actually more likely to overeat because you think you've burned those calories off where really, you know, in that exercise, you are not gonna burn nearly as many calories as you think, then you're going to overeat in thinking you've already burned that off. So for that reason, walking is pretty much the most effective form of a weight loss, low intensity exercise. So if you're looking for a simple and sustainable way to get in shape and improve your health and really start the whole exercise mobility thing, walking seems to be the clear cut winner in my opinion. Now let's talk about how you can incorporate walking into your daily routine. There are plenty of ways to sneak in some extra steps throughout the day, like, you know, let's say taking the stairs instead of the elevator, parking farther away from your destination, and then, you know, walking into the store. Even taking a walking break during your work day. So like, you know, if you got an hour long lunch, eat your food and then go for like a 10, 15 minute walk. Most people can pretty easily schedule a regular walking workout in, whether it's in the morning when you wake up to kind of get the blood flowing and get your morning stroll around the neighborhood in, or maybe like I said, it's that walk during lunchtime. I've also read a little bit about interval walking. I haven't tried this yet, but I'm looking forward to it, but it seems like a good option to increase your calorie burn while still keeping, you know, a, a good pace, uh, not getting too high into the cardio level. And interval walking looks like it's pretty much just alternating between walking at a moderate pace and then picking up the pace for short bursts. 
And so I guess you could also try this with, instead of like short bursts, they don't necessarily need to be like speed. You could try to find like a hill or really challenge yourself to, like I said, increase your increase your heart rate for a short period of time and then walk and then at a you know more leisurely pace for the rest of that time. It looks like this will help build a little bit more muscle in your legs and burn a little bit more calories because obviously your heart rate's gonna increase for this. And then another one that I found in the research, if you're feeling really ambitious, is speed walking. Um, this one obviously helps your heart rate get up uh, and definitely, you know, helps you help you sweat more, help you burn more calories. Um, you know, they kind of look funny in the Olympics. I more think of it like uh, I, I've tried when I go for my walks. I'm just walking angry sometimes, like each step is just like boom, boom, boom. And I definitely notice that my heart rate picks up when I do that. I don't know. I just, you know, I'll be honest. Like I said, I get bored when I'm doing the walk sometimes. That's why I try to walk different neighborhoods, to walk different trails, walk at different times of the day. Um, and so even, you know, changing up my pace, uh, I think helps me keep it entertaining. In my opinion, walking is one of the best tools in our toolbox when it comes to achieving our fitness goals in the world of weight loss. It's easy to incorporate a little bit of walking into your daily routine, so whether you're taking a leisurely stroll or you're doing some of that power angry walking like I was talking about, putting one foot in front of the other is a great way to achieve your weight loss goals in no time.